Uh, Marcus, um, I think going back to November 14th, uh, this team's had its three defensive pairs intact for the most part. Um, how much do you think just that cohesion, that stability has maybe led to the overall team success over the past six weeks, with the 17 games and 19 games and whatnot? Yeah, I think I, I think it means a lot. I mean, um, like you said, we've had kind of the, the same pairings we've, we've managed to stay healthy so far. Um, and, and with COVID, we had early issues early in the year. It was kind of back and forth with pairings, but it helps a lot. I mean, we, we all know each other pretty well. I, I don't think it matters. I mean, you can see in the games, we, we mix sometimes. I mean, Matheson's good in offensive zone. And we put him in there a lot. Um, so I think we mix a lot and we know each other well out there. So, um, I mean, it brings stability, but um, I think we can play with, with everybody. Michelle, up front. Uh, P, you've been around for a handful of Sid's goals, obviously, and he's getting close to that big milestone here. Yeah. Just, are there any that stand out to you for whatever reason, whether you were on the ice with him or on the bench, or um, ones that just come to mind as, as really sticking out from, from that collection? Uh, tough to say. I mean, the, the big thing that stands out for me is how many ways he can score. Um, I mean, he can score off the rush and, and has a really good shot, and he, he can tip pucks really well. Um, I mean, he has a, his, uh, his patent forehand tip. Um, I mean, he can score off rebounds if in front he's so strong on his stick. So I think just the variety in, in, he, in which he can score is, uh, is really impressive and it's fun to watch every day. Matt? Oh, sorry. <laughs> hey, Marcus, uh, you, you've known Casey De Smith for a few years now and you have a pretty good sense of his personality. I know he's not having the season he probably wouldn't have. I'm just kind of curious what you've seen from him um, behind the scenes as he's working to try to get his game back on track. He, he's one of the most hardworking guys uh, on our team, I think. Um, I mean, you see every day he loves being out there with us after practices, getting shots in, um, I mean, just competing. So I think his, his personality has never changed, whether he's having a good game or a bad game or whatever it is. He's always happy, smiling at the rink, and that brings a lot of energy to us too. And um, we have a lot of faith in him as a goalie and, and as a person. So. Um, just his work, work ethic has uh, never really changed and it's really impressive. Marcus, it's easy to look at what you guys have done well over this last stretch and obviously when you're winning things are voting in that you know positive direction, but where would you say is kind of the area of, game, of the gameplay that you guys really want to hone in on and improve on as you continue here? Um, I don't know, I, I don't think I've, we've been winning lately, but um, we feel like, I think last game was a good game, but um, We've been kind of not playing our best, um, and we've been finding ways to win. So I think we want to improve on that. That we find different ways, um, whether it's from a comeback, whether it's from, from a good start by playing defense, by scoring a lot. I think uh, we want to keep improving on that. And something we we know we can do is finding different ways to win. Two more, Jeff and Noah. Marcus, Mike Sullivan told us yesterday that it's the leadership in the room. It's the core guys that really bring that confidence and calmness and how have you how do you see those guys lead and, and how has it helped in, in these tight games or comebacks and things like that? On the ice I feel like they lead by example. Um, I mean they, they lead in the locker room but um, like first and foremost it's it's on the ice by example. Um, I think uh, whenever that top line or genus line have, have a, a really good good shift everybody follows and everybody kinda seems to to uh, to pick up on that so I think on the ice, by example, those guys are are um, probably the best in the league on that. I mean, Sid, Gino, and Tiger, they can take over um, take over games uh, at a certain point. And I think um, if we do a good enough job to, to follow on that, we, we have a good chance. But uh, I just think leading by example is, um, is their main part. Thanks, Vinny. Thank you. Appreciate it.